becoming Australian citizens, you will require responsibilities as well. You will acquire responsibilities as well as rights. You will now you'll have the right to vote, and um, this is a, a a privilege that I always urge people to take very responsibly and find out about the issues and the candidates and make an informed vote. You have the right to trial by jury and return. You have the responsibility to serve on the jury if you're required. You have the right to political freedom and the responsibility to obey and uphold the laws that give you that freedom. You can be called upon to defend Australia if the need arises. You have the right to apply for appointment or to be elected to council or to um, state or federal parliament. You have the right to an Australian passport and to claim Australian diplomatic protection while you're overseas if that's necessary. So now um, we're going to come to the formal part of our ceremony, which we're required to do under law. So those of you who are going to take the pledge, the oath, would you please stand and repeat after me? That's very interesting. Usually we have two groups, one that want to affirm and one that want to pledge. We, all of our people today want to pledge. So, if you could repeat after me, please. From this time forward, under God. I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people. Whose democratic beliefs I share. Whose rights and liberties I respect and whose laws I will uphold and obey. Thank you, please be seated. From this time forward, I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people, whose democratic beliefs I share, whose rights and liberties I respect, and whose laws I will uphold and obey. Thank you, please be seated. Thank you. Happy Australia Day, everyone. Thank you very much, Lord Mayor. Now, I'll now call each uh, of our new Australian citizens forward to come to receive the Australian citi citizenship certificates from the Lord Mayor and the member for Sydney. And we'll have our official photograph taken by our photographer, David Jenkins, over here. Now, our first family today that are, uh, have become Australian citizens are Marina Belkin and her two children, Eden and Toma Belkin. The Belkins moved to Australia in 2007. It was hard leaving parents and grandparents in Israel. Their fears of a strange country and a new language quickly faded and they were happy and willing to face the challenge of a new future in Australia, starting new jobs, a new school, and making friends along the way. I should have also said, said also, this is the most interesting part of the ceremony, when I try and pronounce everyone's name up here. So you have to bear with me, okay? Some people may not get up. Uh, Mr. Shamol Benedict Gomez and his children, Yanavi Angelika and Joy, Joy Tree Lucia Gomez. The Gomez family are proud and grateful to become citizens of Australia and chose to live here because it is a developed and multicultural, predominantly Christian country and they think it's fantastic they have freedom of speech here. Martha Cecilia Amaya Hernandez, Edgar Fabian Amaya Duran and their family. Johnny Stephen Hoyas Hernandez, Nicholas Daniel Amaya Hernandez, Juan Paulo Amaya Hernandez. This family from Colombia, South America, you only of Australia's kangaroos, sharks, and Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. But found while surfing the internet, suddenly found information about Australia and its quality of life, and they knew they had to become Australian citizens and decided to emigrate. Anna Laptiva and her son Asni Laptiva. Anna married an Australian and loves the country because of the security, multiculturalism and many possibilities for her family and also the glorious weather. 
so different from her home country of birth, Russia, Siberia. I don't think you get much different to Siberia and Australia over the last month. Amanda Lorenzo and Richard Lorenzo and their children, Isabella, Cameron and Christian. The Lorenzos moved to Australia from the USA to work for two years, but they fell in love with the country and decided to make it home. They appreciate the safety of living here with their children and the playgrounds, great weather and outdoor life. These former New Yorkers say a major achievement for them is having learned to camp in the bush. Someone who's not camera shy. Michael Blakeney Parker, Mrs. Kim Parker and their boys Aidan Stewart Parker and Liam James Parker. Realising a dream for the Parkers was moving to Australia to provide their family with a country filled with freedom and opportunity. To have a chance to live where their physical security is not a daily concern and where they can happily grow old. Corinne Schwartz, Yves Francis Yoslin, and their daughter Inoue Rosie Amy Yoslin. <laughs> Corinne and Eve chose Australia to live in a forward, as a forward-looking, dynamic country which has a balance between promoting liberal economy and maintaining a strong social cohesion. They love the unspoiled, wide spaces the country offers. Mr. Gerald Talbot from South Africa. Gerald started a new life in Sydney five years ago. He is proud to call Australia home, to live with his family in a free and safe country, and to contribute with fellow Aussies to Australia's future. As an Australian citizen, I affirm my loyalty to Australia and its people. Whose democratic beliefs I share, whose rights and liberties I respect, and whose laws I uphold and obey. Congratulations, you're now still Australian. Well done.